It's been a few years, almost five, since the January 26, 1919 murder of Michael Alexander Williams, a businessman and son of pepper sauce connoisseur Marie Sharp. The 58-year-old general manager was shot dead as he parked his vehicle on North Front Street to let his girlfriend out. All that was gathered at the time was that two men approached Williams and one of them pulled out a handgun and shot him. Since then, the investigation has gone cold. Today, Williams' youngest son, Patrick, revisited the incident with us. Up to this point, we, we don't have anyone as yet. No one was charged and the case has gone silent. Um, I have a lot of people ask me the same question time and time again. And I'm, I'm sorry to say that there's just no one has been charged as yet. While the Williams and Sharp families still hope for an arrest for the crime, they have been able to cope with their loss over time. A mother whose son was stabbed to death less than two months ago has an ever fresher wound and difficulty coping with her loss. Janet Lopez lost her son, 15-year-old Nigel Ferguson, described as a boy with special needs, in the latter part of August of this year. Lopez told News 5 Today that she still has difficulty falling asleep because of the pain she endures knowing her son's killer is still roaming the streets. You know, you can update I got back to the station the 13th of September to follow up on my son's case. And they don't really tell me nothing. They tell me about 11 to 12 people involved, but nobody will get arrested. I hope for some kind of justice, you know. Because I even got the ombudsman office, so I wait back for answer for them and see what will be the outcome of my son's case. You know. But Janet Lopez and Patrick Williams are only two persons who have been waiting for some kind of justice for the murder of their loved ones. They represent many more who are still hoping in silence that someday their loved ones' killers could be made to pay for the crimes they committed. There's also the family of James Gordon, who was gunned down mercilessly on the evening of Wednesday, September 15, 2021, as he arrived at a residence on Main Avenue to collect monies that had been owed to him and the family of the former owner of Sky Deck, Ernesto Williams, who was executed on the night of Friday, January 24, 2020, as he headed to his vehicle that was parked on Orange Street. There were other heinous unsolved murders that have spanned almost or over a decade, such as the four men who were found murdered in a house on George Street on January 8, 2013. There is also the murder of slain businessman Alfred Chacron, who was shot dead on the morning of October 24, 2012, in front of Body 2000 Gym on Coney Drive. And who can forget the callous rape and murders of several girls whose bodies were later found with severed limbs days after they went missing between 1998 and 2000. While their families have had to cope with their loss over time, they've probably lost all hope that they will ever get justice. This is also a sentiment that even Patrick Williams and Janet Lopez share in common. I'm disappointed in the system it's because I like, you know, push no effort on it. But no could tell me 11 to 12 people and say involved in my son, but no kind of arrest. Uh, my real disappointment would be in like um, in the community, you know, like if you have cameras and people are, people are afraid of giving up their recordings because they don't want anything to follow them and. That's, that's my disappointment, but if we stand up as a community, maybe we can help the police solve the crimes and it would ease down the crimes around the country. People ask about the situation, if it's been solved and thing. It, it does bring me down a bit and gets me back into the thought of it, but I just try to move on. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.